Okay, so here's what we've gotten done in the past couple hours. As you can see, we added a 90, hard 90 right there, instead of the flex duck coming in over there, making a 90, and then making another two, two 90s in a row pinched off. So we got nice, good airflow here. And you can see it's all supported. And you can see how straight and curved it is, going all the way back to a nice straight. You can see where we elevated it on, uh, there's my uh, crimped cinch tool. Um, you can see where we elevated, so it's up level at the height of the 90s. We put a 90 here, and you can see how straight it comes in here instead of 180 degrees and all kinked. So that's our nice even flow here. Instead of all this ducting going straight from there, right down five feet right there, all bunched up. But there's another fly in the ointment, found another problem. Okay, so zone two, I just, we just nearly finished zone two. And that was where I replaced this 14 by 25 or whatever, 14 by 24. And it's a 25 by 25 by two inch deep pleat, not one inch deep pleat. But here's our other dilemma. So this is an 18 inch feeding zone two. This is an 18 inch feeding zone two. Should be a 20 inch or it should be a 24 inch, but they got an 18 because, yeah, 18. I just found out zone three, they use a 16 inch for zone three. Now zone two and zone one turns off. This is a five ton unit. That means you have one 16 inch return for a five ton unit. You fucking idiots. Okay, so the plot thickens, and they said zone three, it's a little, it's the least load on any of the rooms. As they said, zone three has the worst temperature control and I'm getting to zone three now. And I just discovered, I wouldn't think no idiot would put a 16 inch return. I mean, they have 18, they have 18. Both of those are undersized already. Why would you step down to a whole size even less? Because sometimes zone two is off, zone one is off, and you're only left with zone three. Idiot. That's all I gotta say. This is super, super bad. Nice and nice kink, huh? It's like it comes down, and then you have a loop de loop, and then you come up, and it's nice and V there. We're gonna straighten all that. That's zone one. Zone one works the best. Zone one is the last one we're gonna fix. But I just discovered the zone three problem. And as you're looking at it, and so what's this look like now from what we've seen before? If you remember all the other videos, you can see this offshoot right here, and it comes directly with a short piece of flux right into a 90. It's not all insulated and finished yet, but it works good. And you can see how straight these runs are, where before they were 180 degree kink shit everywhere. Um, what else did we fix that you can see from here? I elevated, now this is going to zone one. You can see I elevated it a little bit. And remember this right here, this big old loop was going right into that right there. And it was all kinked at 180 degrees and there was a V kink and there was barely any flow into zone three. So now it's a big, smooth, progressive, long um, airflow sloop with no tight kink and the only thing it's bending around is a round motor right here so now we have good flow up to this point and the next thing we're going to uh, correct is where this one's coming around i'm going to smooth that out a little more i'm going to put a hard 90 right here because it's just laying on the ground and it's doing an instant 90 on flex so that will get corrected this one will get corrected so this will get pulled tight and it'll make a nice gradual turn and it'll go into a hard 90 instead of being on the ground like that where it's reduced and this is when I discovered when I came over here for the return on zone 3 I just discovered that this was a 16 inch right there idiots and uh, so zone 3 sometimes is on just by itself and it's a 16 inch feeding a 5 ton and so I have to change all this. I can't leave a 16. This is the room they're having the biggest problem in, is zone three. So 
so that means I cannot use their leftover materials that was used I literally have to replace everything and I think I think I could shorten that up I think I could route it differently where I might be able to shave about six to ten feet off the length I can make some nice straight transitions instead of all this loop-de-loop -loop stuff then it goes way over there and then it goes right there and it's coming right here and then it's going up and it goes right there so that's zone three so I'm gonna fix zone three airflow problem and huh, I'll fix zone three problem and that'll be it and I, I discovered some bleed air now this goes to nowhere these are just laying up here like this and there's cold air coming out of them this is leaking out of a vent somewhere which I'm about to find my room is positive pressure with cold air and this is leakage out into the atmosphere so i have to fix this and seal off wherever this vent is going it needs to be sealed because i'm losing capacity for whatever air this nice cold air comes out mother nature's hot air is being sucked back in and they're paying to cool off mother nature and uh, that's not cool so we're getting there but I'm call calling it quits for today, even though it's only four o'clock on this job. I got one more. I got one more automotive one to go to on my way home. But as you can see, this is nice big round loop. Instead, before that thing used to go on the other side, and it was like a bunched up little 90. And so it's it's looking better. It's still a spaghetti mess. And uh, but it'll get there. This is gonna get changed from. It's a 14 by 24 and it's going to get changed to a 25 by 25. And, uh, yep, fix that little 16, get rid of the 16, turn it to 18. And legitimately, really, because this is a solo return for a 5 ton, it should be a 24. Really. Not a 20, 24. You're going to use flex ducts? No, no 20. Up it to 24. Um,. And it should be a 36 by 24 filter, 2 inch plate. Alright guys, I'll catch you later.